Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And ahead is live action from the Turkish Superliga. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Here's the starting 11 for Fenerbahce. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And they kick off here. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Mihad Zaitz. Chance to play it in and pull back. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. allowed it to go over the touchline so a throw in and a chance to whip it in here moving forward effectively a high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt well he's just mistimed it hasn't he didn't catch it how he would have wanted and well that's the result Diego Rossi and it's with Osai Samuel and do they mean business on this occasion but nothing comes of it Oh, what an opportunity! It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that! Well, as you can see, he just about gets that right. Some would say it's slightly lucky, I would say it's perfect placement.
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Well, a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Well, they keep the ball moving. Aaron Abindangoy. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Ozil. This is Ozil. Good movement. Ozil. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Could be a chance to break here. And they need to get tighter. Options in the middle. Aaron Abindangoy. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Oh dear, oh dear. Opportunity squandered, Stuart. Well, what a chance that was for the equaliser. You don't get too many better than that. Mihad Zaitz. Well, making high pressing work for them here. And the keeper getting across to stop it. And he's fired over the corner. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Now sending it in. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Ahmed Oguz. And taken away. He won the ball. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? It's a good-looking ball in behind. Keeper's in trouble. Oh, a goal! They've taken full advantage of a dreadful mistake by the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, he has to get rid of that quicker. That's a poor mistake from the keeper. Well, a second goal for them here. And a free kick awarded by the referee. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. It comes to nothing in the end. Ahmed Oguz. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Could play it in. Big chance. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal.
Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and the strike could not get any better. He hits through the back of the ball with such power. What a goal this is. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Apindan Goy. And showing fine vision. Can he convert? And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Bright Osai Samuel. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yes, I think he's done quite well in the first half. He certainly looked comfortable on the ball, but he needs one or two others to start performing if they're going to get back into this game in the second 45 minutes. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Dursun. Jose Sosa has it. And you can sense the threat is there. Bright Osai Samuel. And attempting the through ball. Two goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here it is again. The build up is so patient, they're just waiting to play that killer pass at the right time. But the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So back underway at 3-1. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Cleared away. Rossi. Irfan Chan Kavecci. Good movement. And space to cross it. Flag up, tight offside. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, as we've seen, it's been all Fenerbahce in terms of possession, and that's been... Could be a goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here.
Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Really a very poor ball. And well, we're into the final half hour. And teammates to play it to. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then what a strike. The lovely half volley. It's so difficult to keep these down. This is a very tidy finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Ahmed Oguz. Playing with purpose and control. Body in the way. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. So making the substitution now. Bright Osai Samuel. Sosa. And it's with Osai Samuel. Now he must favour the cross. And an astute piece of defending. 20 minutes to go. Keeper getting the touch. Well, on the final analysis, his timing just wasn't there. Well, it's always difficult to hit those perfectly, and unfortunately for him, he got that all wrong. Bright Osai Samuel. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. And it's with Osai Samuel. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Could be threatening. Corner given. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. And he's fired over the corner. And how about that for a save?
delivering it. Strong hand on that one. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Luis Gustavo. Ozil. And able to get a body in the way. Well, far from the ideal pass. Ozil. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Let's look at this again. The one and two touch pass is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. He got nothing but ball, he's conceded the corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Luis Gustavo. This is Ozil. Decent position. Danger averted, and there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.